Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's been a little while. We had a little break in there. It's time for episode 73, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the Sith Lords. And uh, we were, when well, we last, <laughs> previously, on Games Revisited, we were in the middle of running all around Godo's yacht, trying to find uh, the exile. That'd be me. So my crew has been managing the best that they can in trying to uh, launch a rescue operation. And we bring you to that rescue operation now in progress. Let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Um, did, didn't I do a fair amount of this already? I feel like I did. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. All right. Uh... Yep. Cut him down. Cut him down. Quick. Cut him quicker. Cut him quicker. Dude, you're a Jedi. I hear you. More where that came from. Take long. Yeah, it depends on if you last that long. There we go. Let's go. And what do we have in those remains? What remains? A droid parabolic guide. Okay. Uh, first things first. Let's see if we can hack. Duh. All right. Systems control. Um. Run. Oh, minefield is inactive. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't all I wanted to do. I wanted to do some other stuff in there. Uh, unlock restricted system. Uh, oh, I do not have any other access codes. All right. Uh, overload. Okay. All right, not much else I can do right now because I, I can't. I don't have the codes for the droid controller or the power distribution or the minefield. Although I feel like I should have a couple of those by now, or maybe I just haven't gotten that far through things. All right. Um, and this is what I brought you along for. You're a walking lockpick. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, adhesive, carbon, plasma. I am? Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing running in there, you idiot? What part of that seemed like a good idea? Say the word, let's get this over with. Come on, zap them. That's what I gave you those fancy skills for. What's going on? What's going on? I have no idea what's going on. I hear you. Atten can't figure out. All right, all right, all right. I, I'll, I'll grant you, he's he's new to the yeah. new to the whole Jedi stuff. So I, maybe I maybe I should cut him a little bit more of a break than that. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't at all. All right. Now, if uh, if I remember right, yep, audience room door. Dun dun dun! Hey, three is company again. Experience points received, a bunch. <laughs> and oh, these guys need to level two. All right, so before. Before we go doing anything else, let's go ahead and let's take care of that. Because 
He's already started down the path of the Jedi Sentinel, and uh, that's what we want to keep up. Let's, um, hmm. Ooh. What do we want to increase? Oh, that's right. We were going to increase his wisdom for two reasons. With a wisdom of 11, it means his will save sucks, uh, which is not good. It also means that his, the number of force points he has ava available also sucks. So we need to fix that by bumping up his wisdom to 12. I mean, I'd love to give him another uh, so, some more skill points through intelligence, but that's not his bag. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I wouldn't mind bumping up his dexterity a little bit, too. Uh, since he is one of my more dex-based characters, or even the strength, since he is going to be uh, wielding a sword from time to time, having a higher strength would help, at least for damage output. Um, <clears throat> but uh, right now, it is useless to have somebody who can use force powers and, and the paltry number of points that he has available. So let's bump up his wisdom to 12. That's going to make the modifier a plus one and increase his force powers uh, and make them harder to resist. So like when he does all the zap the droid things eventually, and whenever he decides to do those, uh, <laughs> they'll actually, you know, land and be useful. Uh, skills. Oh, yeah, his skills are a hot mess, aren't they? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I don't even know what to do to fix this. Oh, that's right. I gave up fixing this. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, I don't even know what to do. Let's give him some more demolitions. And maybe another, oh, no, okay. Okay, sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, those are a hot mess. All right, powers. Um, he's got the improved heal. He is not of a high enough level for the master heal yet. We could increase either one of the stuns. Uh, or we could bump him up to force wave. I'm thinking force wave. Although... If they're close enough that he can use a force wave, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. On the other hand, we've engaged him in enough melee from time to time that... Eh, it never hurts to have it. So let's add that power. Okay. And accept. And you good, sir. Let's keep you down the road to tech specialist. And let's level you up. And... Ooh, where do we want to put your attributes? Um, charisma doesn't help him at all. Wisdoms, eh, it's not bad. Con, constitution would be a good candidate. Because uh, if I really want to get him using some of the higher end implants, I need to get that up to at least 16 for the really good stuff. Um... He engages in a lot of melee, so a little more strength wouldn't hurt. Although, I'm tempted to go ahead and bump up dex. Uh, that, it's short-term thinking because that will give him an immediate bump to his AC. That'll give him an immediate bump to uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, con would be long-term play. Strength would be a long-term play. But I think for right this minute, I'm going to do the uh, short... It's not a bad choice. It's just um, delaying when I can get his con up to get him the better better uh, implants. So, let me go ahead and bump up his dexterity. Um, and skills. That's right. We, we He is the skill man. So, we got computer use and demolitions and awareness and repair and security, and... Uh, that's right, we're trying to bring his treat injury up. Okay, there we go. It'll catch up. It'll get there, eventually. Okay, and... Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Sarai, sarai. Except... 
Now that everybody has leveled up, let me go ahead and save this game. Because I'm wondering if I got enough time to do something real quick. If you remember, one of the uh, little questicles, uh, not wrong button, all, one of the little questicles on my list is to craft a lightsaber. We've found all the components. All I needed to do was talk to Baudur. But uh, ever since I found the last component, I've not been in a place where the game allowed us to be together. Oh, oh, look at that. He's in my party. Let's, uh, will, will, will he, uh, will, will, he, yes, will he do this in the middle of combat? Um, do I have all the lightsaber parts I'll need? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. Uh, ooh, what kind of lightsaber do I want to create? <laughs> Double bladed. Duh. All right, what color? Oh, my choices are yellow, yellow, or yellow. I think I'll go with the yellow. Journal entry added. Experience points received. Items received. Double-bladed lightsaber. An achievement unlocked. An elegant weapon. All right. <laughs> I do like that. An elegant weapon. From a more civilized time. Yeah. Ooh, damage, energy, 2 to 24. That's a... That's a big range. 2 to 24? I, yikes. Like, that... Ooh. I like it. Because right now, the Sith War Sword is... Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. My Sith War Sword... is 7 to 24. And my lightsaber is only going to be 2 to 24? I get some really sweet bonuses with the uh, Sith War Sword. A bump to attack modifier. Some extra damage. On the other hand, it is a lightsaber. I mean, what kind of Jedi runs around without a lightsaber? Yeah, we're going to take the lightsaber. Come on, who are we kidding? Uh, I know it's not the optimal weapon. Like, if you're going strictly by the numbers, sticking with the Sith War Sword is where I should be until I can get to a workbench and upgrade this. Because I think I've got a couple of upgrades already set up for the edge and the grip. Uh, I, just need a, I just need a chance to install them. Um, but, come on. Alright, uh, and since he is doing the two-weapon fighting, that also means that instead of longsword with its 2 to 13, I can give him my Sith War Sword. And that'll up his melee whenever I get around to getting him melee. Um, what happened to his, uh... Okay, that's weird. Okay. Item just randomly unequipped. Yeah, there we go. Cheers. Now, now we got what we need. Oh, let's uh, save that. I, I know we just saved it, but let's go ahead and save that. Let's, uh, I, okay, there we go. Now, now somebody does something, something, fully equipped something. Fully operational battle warrior. Alright, uh, what's in the center droid? <laughs> yes, exactly. Alright, let's, uh, scavenge, scavenge the droid for components. Okay. Alright, then else I can do for him? Switch defense protocol to include you and your companions. Sure. Okay. Let's leave them alone. I don't know that they're going to follow us. Let's uh, do that and repair and... There we go. That's it. That's all we got out of these guys? Alright. 
Let's go to the auxiliary console and acquire power distribution access code. Access the primary power supply and switch docking hatch seal to secondary system. Containment cells to secondary system. Okay, let's go to the secondary power system. Okay. Items received. Okay. I wonder if uh, that means I can go down to this computer here and do anything else while I'm at it. Systems control. Containment cells. Shut down. Oh, they're already inactive. Okay. Uh, turret defense. Shut down. Oh, <laughs> the turrets are malfunctioning and target both hostile and friendly units. All right, I'll deal with that. That works. Uh, power distribution. No, okay. Um, unlock restricted system. Unlock power distribution. All right, now let's go back to here. Oh, restricted to bridge. All right, I got to get to the bridge before I can run any of those. But first, let's uh, let's go a looting, shall we? Where have I been? Okay, so that is where I came through. I I don't think they've been through all of those. Although I guess we'll get the opportunity on the way back out. All right, so that is all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's continue. Hey! Hello. Seriously. Ah! Get him! Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... Yikes. Time to take you down to size. Get him! They uh leave anything behind? No? No parts? Well oh, that's a shame. No parts? Nope, no parts. Okay. Now let us see. That I don't wanna go there yet, because all that's gonna do is take me to uh, the that that's the way to the main command hatch. I I want to finish looting the yacht. I mean exploring the yacht. Um, so let's uh let's go this way first, shall we? Oh, doesn't this look cozy? Um. Oh hey, uh, lab station. That's right. That was one of those things that uh, I really wanted to. <laughs> I really needed like. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even see what was in there. I could have used that. I don't know. Last stream. Because I really, really could have used some med packs. Um, advanced med pack is 20, 30. All right. Uh, based off of the chemical cost, let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four. Uh, there we go. That gets us some of those. No, I don't need any regular med packs. Um. I don't need any stims. Any as much as I'd love to do some of these implants, uh, that's going to be a later thing when I get time to really jot down some notes and back and forth some stuff. Uh, having a couple of these guys would come in handy. I'm not going to worry about the rest. Uh, I'm not. I don't need to make mines or grenades. What can I break down though? Uh, I can take these average frag mines, break those down. 
I'll keep the battle stimulants. Uh, con, dex, strength. Okay. I'll have to see which one of these implants I want to keep and which ones I can get rid of too. I'll keep the plasma grenade. Uh, let, you know what? Let's get rid of the cryoband. Let's get rid of the adhesive. Get rid of the sonic. Let's uh, get rid of the poison. Oh, maybe I maybe I do need to make some grenades. I need to make iron grenades, which means I need to switch to somebody who's got a better uh, skill. Real quick. Use the lab station, good sir. Go to the grenades. And... Oh, the only thing out of your range is thermal detonators. Hmm. Okay. No, I need... Since this place is crawling with droids, I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of ion grenades. Because those things come in handy when dealing with droids. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough for now. All right, we have looted this room, and I want, let's, uh, let's do, let's do this first. Hello. It appears to be another set of prison cells. Anybody here? Nope, not yet. Is there anybody here? Nope, not yet. What about here? Oh, hello, Mr. Damage Utility Droid. This droid appears badly damaged. It's in the name and everything. Uh, what you got in your memory core? You're able to recover the reset program. How convenient. Okay. Oh, nope, that's it. That's all he's got. Alright, seriously. If, if a droid has dangerous software on him, do, do you really put him in prison? Like, is that the move you make? Because I, 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 don't, I don't remember learning that in school. That, that... <laughs> okay. Alright. So, we made some progress. We got the exile back. We've leveled some people up. We finally got a lightsaber. I just need to find a workbench, not the lab station. Although, I have been looking for the lab station, so I'm not going to be too mad about that. Uh, I guess technically there's a workbench if I want to hoof it all the way back to the entrance just to walk all the way back down here. I don't, I don't want it that bad. Maybe I do. No, I don't. All right, um... So this concludes episode 73. If you're watching live, don't leave yet. We've got more to record because remember, the live stream is the recording of the next six episodes coming up. And uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, you missed this week's live stream. Sorry, but uh, next one starts Fridays at a new time, 6.30 p.m. So uh, away we go. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. 
And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.